I'm Alex, and PlayStation sent me Astrobot, so here's some details I noticed so far. Captured PlayStation Cameo characters are sent back to your base not fully equipped, but you can work towards earning each one their unique item. Like the Yarnum Tourist, getting geared up with the Saw Cleaver and Hunter Pistol. If you give any of these characters an encouraging smack though, it'll trigger a special animation. The Hunter from Bloodborne actually tries to parry your attack with their pistol, which is a mechanic straight out of the game. The Visceral Attack follow-up might have been a bit much for Astrobot, but I would have been down for it. You can triple jump, since attacking in the air locks you at your current elevation for about 10 extra frames. That's just enough bonus hang time to let you travel further in the air before or after the water booster jump. This can open up entirely new routes through a level, since it makes some jumps possible with your basic moveset. If you let Astrobot idle for a while, it'll start taking out retro PlayStation items, like an old school memory card with the associated blowing into the cartridge. You can also whip out a PlayStation 1 Slim with the attached LCD screen. Or a PlayStation Vita. I supported the Vita, did you, did you have one? Favorite game to play on the Vita? Sound shapes, for sure. When you get these springy punching gloves, they have a hidden attack which makes them even more effective. You just have to hold down the attack button to initiate a spin, then press both the left and right triggers. The momentum of the spin lets the spring stay extended and hit multiple times around you in quick succession. If you fly around on the map screen, you can sometimes get a comet to spawn, and if you crash into it, it opens up an entire extra level that didn't exist before. Some levels have secret exits that are well hidden, but if you find one, it'll warp you straight to the Lost Galaxy. Some of the strangest and most unique levels are hidden here, so thoroughly explore to find those secret exits. Pressing down on the D-pad can toggle between different dances. If you grew up on TikTok and now you're four, you're, you're gonna love these. By the way, I have a TikTok. After you beat a level once, you can spend some coins to have this bird tag along with you through the level again. It'll then auditorily and visually bleep if something is hidden nearby, like a bot puzzle piece or a secret level exit. This game wants you to platinum it. You'll find these photo opportunity spots every once in a while, but you don't unlock the game's photo mode until about halfway through the game. Poop. However, if you go back to these spots after you have photo mode, it'll reward you for using it with some extra coins. When you capture a bot, you can actually tilt your controller around in full 360. If you look closely, you can see that the bot tries to retreat into the controller itself if you try to turn it all the way upside down. Instead, if you flick your hands upward, you can launch the group of bots into the air. Back at your base, you eventually get the ability to coat your controller with different skins. If you look down at your hands, you'll notice this also visually changes the color of the real dual sense. Wait, what year am I in? Oh, never mind, that's, that's, that's a few more years to go for you guys.